Bros Play. All right, brother. This is the one. Yes. Welcome back. I'm going to start by saying something that I'm not happy about. Oh. Wrath of the Gods, if you had it, would probably take away like a quarter of his health, right? Yeah. Because of how unbelievably powerful it is. So if you happen to have Rage of the Gods, you just have this massive advantage in this fight. Yep. Random ele elements are the most fun, balanced parts of games. Well, you know what they should have done both right before this boss and throughout the game is had boxes that give you full Rage of the Gods. I think they do in later games. Yeah, well, I just think that they should have thought of it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> How am I getting so much fucking shit from yeah, you? Yeah, we don't want this now. It's like in case you didn't pick up the obvious health and mana box before the fight. What is happening? Did I glitch the game out or something? That hasn't happened four times in a row for me. I think that's maybe a good reason to use all your mana as soon as you can. Because you're going to probably get a bunch of it early on in the fight, and then it's going to slow down. Oh, is that how I'm supposed to, like, if I do enough damage all at once, that's what it's all about. Oh, okay. I thought it was a certain so that's point. That's why you got to stay close. I like health. that Look move. how much mana I'm getting back. Yeah, dude, that move is the shit. That one. Yeah, and it's like, it's like, a, it's like a, a health generator. So now yeah. go away and blast him. It's a straight up back to, back to container. I think that's the risk reward, that if he gets you with that axe, you're done for. He's going to get you at least two or three hits if he hits you with one. Oh man, that looked really painful. What's going on? It did like, it did, I didn't say easy mode, did I? Because <laughs> that's entirely possible. No, no, you definitely did not hit easy mode. Yeah, no, we would have we noticed and probably tried to shame the game for it. No, Probably tried, not the best I tried time. to game the system. Instead, this, is, this, this is system dumb. gamed you. This is like almost too easy, I say, as I have yeah, not Yeah, please don't him. say that. Especially because this is only phase one. So he needs to be distracted by something. Like a really good episode of Peaky Blinders? <laughs> yes, exactly like that. Or... The final few uh, episodes of Breaking me. Bad. With the camera angle change. Yeah, that was a very abrupt camera change. And you're really caught in this corner now. It's fine. I got him right where I want him. <laughs> Straight in front of me. This is like, this is so boring He's now. just deciding not to give you mana and health anymore. No, I got it back. Just lost it the second that I got it. Maybe it gives out a shit ton at the beginning. I think it is. That's why you have to exhaust your mana first thing. I think that's probably the move. Use all your mana, and then when you regain it all, use it all again. It might actually be worth using the Army of Hades. Because if you open both those boxes, I think you might be able to level them up again. No, maybe not. Maybe not. That is definitely the axe from the second game. Or the hammer. It's at least very, very similar. Well, it's probably designed based on something. Interesting. Okay, so now we know more. We are leveling up as players. No, I don't want easy mode. Motherfuck. At least it's <coughs> suggesting it at the right time. Because that would make this scene easier. Yeah. It's pretty funny that they didn't remove that shit. Because I don't even think that... I'm pretty sure that remains in the next game. Really? Yeah, like, oh, you fell off a, a plank. Would you like easy mode? By the way, it doesn't affect co uh, anything but combat. It's like... Um... Feels like it would be easy enough to figure out if the person died from uh, an enemy or from falling. Well... I'm pretty sure I have to use the supercharged one to stop him from doing that attack, so... Oh, true. Army of Hades Because you can't upgrade grand. it, yeah. But maybe try using Army of Hades twice right off the bat to drain all your mana. Then get it all back. Okay. Mm because that way your mana will just be straight up empty, and, and when he starts popping off orbs, you've got room to absorb them. If you think I'm getting angry at this boss fight, the second game's boss fight at the end... Is gonna, is With Zeus? Yeah. Oh, I it's remember. Worse, man. I remember, yeah, it's way worse. You can't even cast it that, again, can that you? Did, that did not. It was not. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. You just, you gotta, just hold. Got to figure out how to get the fuck out of there. It didn't work. 
What do you mean? There you go. That's what I needed. And you, you definitely have to do that L1 Y attack. L1 triangle attack. Yeah. It's clearly, clearly the best mana maker. Well, when you get it. I love that you know the... The actual buttons, yeah. even though I'm not playing. Yeah. I was actually looking them up uh, earlier because I was trying to figure out what other Blade of Artemis combos there were. Your your passion towards this show and this channel is quite impressive. Just keeps reminding me how like I just didn't even know if you were gonna like let's playing in the first place. But it's definitely it's come a long way. Our let's playing. Yeah. Well, at I mean, first you've it had was years to. Yeah, literally years. Yo, there's a dude on the bridge, and he's like, Ah! <laughs> ah! Hades is gonna kill me! <laughs> he's like, Hades has breached the city. <laughs> I think, I'm not certain, but I think Hades might be in our walls. That one's really annoying. I don't like that one. I like how you're not quite as big as Hades. Like, Pandora's uh... box is only so strong. I feel like this is like the same size he would be like if they were both regular size because oh, hades does become normal human size though right uh i don't know actually maybe not maybe i've never seen him small there we go ha 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 he's just so fulfilled God, so happy when that happens all right now it's time to get this oh. <laughs> time to get this done that oh, one you man. can't block. Ugh. Random elements. Everyone's favorite part of any game. It should always be te heavily telegraphed. That's like a staple of good game design. Any any big damage attack should be heavily uh, telegraphed. And yeah, have some sort of really obvious... Well, you just said it yourself, a telegraph. At least there's no perm like perma stuns. That's a really nice nothing. Element. Yeah, nothing that bad. That's a good point. I actually think this is more effective. It is more effective, man. It's it's just the fact that it doesn't always land. Ooh. See, I keep getting locked into that because I press the button too fast. Which is arguably not their fault, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think maybe you're right that it is in some ways a balancing element. You need to separate, but nah, I don't know. It's the same. What? As uh, he shoulder checked you, which I think breaks your block. No, dude, he shoulder checked me. And then stabbed you. Then stabbed me and pulled me closer to him. Oh, really? I did yeah. not notice that part. That Ooh. is such a cliche villain line. Why do you resist me? Why Why do you... Why do you not just lay down and die? Yeah, that's such a stupid thing to ask a person. Yo, that's my yeah, fireball. Wow. That was cool, <laughs> man. That was actually pretty sweet. I can't believe that protects you from damage. It's pretty funny. I kind of I kind of want to say that that's probably the most bullshit thing about this fight. You mean other than that fucking thing he did? Oh, fuck yeah, you, you. got to you got to wait. It's really annoying how much damage Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it. Uh, 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 <laughs> What's the annoying uh, amount of damage? His weird corpser arms do so much damage. Yeah. And that's... that thing has such a big area of effect that I can't really get away from it. And Dude, it have you, stuns me. Have you forgotten that in the second phase of this fight, there's this thing where he throws you up and stabs you with the corpser arms while you're in midair? So you no. can't avoid it. <laughs> We'll get there, bro. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm fucking looking forward to it. Will this potentially be the first game where we change players and I give it a try? You're not going to play. No. Get out of here. You will yeah. not take my glory. And I'll just pick up Nilsson and start fucking shooting dudes while saying, got to bail. Dude, I don't think you could play Nilsson. Yeah, I can't play Nilsson. Well, you can play Nilsson, but you can't drive. He's and most the, of the game is driving. He's the easiest character to play. But that whole game is just hard to control. Oh, yeah. And I the can, shooting I can mechanics? barely, like, look at it. Yeah, it's such a brown mess. <laughs> Actually, that's not the issue that I have. It's the heavy motion blur and low frame rate. 
Well, that too. Yeah, Those there's a lot things. of things going against being able to clearly see things in Mercenaries. Those the second game is actually is a lot better when it comes to visual appeal and feel and all those things. It's just... That's not what you meant to do. No, for some reason it was selected, which is cool. Enjoying that. I think it's because that's the last thing you used before the checkpoint. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I think it was the last thing you used because uh, I wanted you to try it. And it, it just oh. was not that effective. This is also something that kind of bugs me about final bosses is that it's basically never anything but the fight gets harder. And I know that can, that can make sense on paper. Like, of course it should get harder. But, like, why would the enemy become more difficult to defeat the weaker they become? It's one thing that I like about World of Warcraft is that enemies had a berserk timer. Yeah. And the berserk didn't mean you lose. It just meant the enemy got so much more powerful that you were basically guaranteed to lose. Yeah. So, but I agree. When an enemy gets to its last half of its life, the fight should change. But it shouldn't necessarily just get linearly harder. Yeah. It should be different. It should, you know, go laterally. Rather than use, like, he should, maybe when he gets to half health, he can't use his hammer anymore. Like, he doesn't have the fire breath. But he gets an additional move, which is the corpse or bomb thing where he flies in midair. That was a really cool sequence. Of me hitting him with the thing as I blocked him in slow motion. All in slow motion. <laughs> the Dark Souls has a has a, several bosses. Uh, actually, I don't, know if, I don't know if it's several, but they have bosses that actually get easier the further you go in. And I think that that's cool because that's unusual. Yeah. But it's also realistic. Like actually, Mario has bosses like that. The um, Gooper, you rip off Dude. his arms. Oh, you kind of start feeling bad about it. Yeah, exactly. After a while, he can't do anything to you. And it's cool because that's that makes way more sense than an enemy deciding, well, actually, I don't know. When someone's about to die, they sort of double down, right? So it does kind of make sense why they get stronger in the last half of their life. Yeah. Pull out new tricks. But I agree. I, yeah. it's, so, it's so every game does the same thing. No game wants to be different. Yeah, well, Demon Souls did. It had bosses that couldn't attack you. How long ago was that game? 2006. Holy, okay, so we're just going back a ways now. Or maybe it was eight. Will we play that on the channel someday? Uh, yeah. I would love to. It's on PS3. Maybe when it's we're... like one of the only systems I don't have, so... Maybe when we're done with uh, Dark Souls 3. Um, Go back to maybe. Demon Souls. Maybe. This fight has become very repetitive. Yeah. I understand that it's kind of designed to be repetitive, but I feel like his health bar should have been 75% of what it is. <laughs> well, there's games like Devil May Cry that instead of using quick time events, they use these actual um, prompts that you get to do as a player. And in like the fourth game, the final boss can actually be countered by something you've been using all game. And you kill him with like his own arm or something like that. Really? Yeah, and it's like, I don't, I can't get behind Devil May Cry's character, uh, control scheme, but I recognize it as a just an objectively good made game um gaming brit's really a huge fan of it because he's not crazy about quick time events i mean he thinks that they can they have their place it's just they don't make the player feel as good as they did back when they first came out you know quick time events you, wait is this when they first came out like god of war era this era was when they started i don't know if god of war God of War definitely popularized, but I don't know if they invented it. Because there's probably, like, really light examples of that, like, way back in the day. Because they're, they're, like, a pretty good idea. They just need to, they, they need to not have a huge amount of uh, control taken away. That's the real issue. Uh, so, you've, <clears throat> so you prefer the ones that are, like, more in-game than the ones that are more cinematic? Um, yeah, like in this game, <clears throat> I'm paying, I'm not even paying attention to the quick time event. Like, I, I'm looking at the buttons that I'm pressing, not what I'm doing, so I don't really feel good at all. Hmm. It, it's cool for the audience, but I think most of the audience is actually naturally drawn to the button prompts anyway. Yeah, so no one's really paying attention to what's happening. That's why I like the, um, the guys where you just have to mash circle to shove the blades into their throat. See, stuff like that is cool. Um, in this, in the third game, you execute 
uh, dude with your thumbs in his eye sockets, and the prompt is del- is clicking the left and right stick at the same time. No. Yeah, man. Shit like that is That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. In Battlefield 4, uh, if you knife somebody from behind, it uh, instantly killed them. But if you knife them from the front, that person getting knifed had an opportunity to quickly press F and counter the knife attack, which both balanced f- the frontal assault uh, and made a really cool experience. I fucking hate this guy so much. And I just hit the wrong button and now I'm gonna fucking die. Shit. We need to get him to a quarter. Yes! Holy there fuck. it is! Oh, oh man. Yeah, as soon as the fire goes away is the perfect time. So the big one that I have to worry about is that unblockable hammer attack. Yeah, because then he gets you in a sequence. That's actually the principle behind Super Smash Bros. Melee. You rarely do damage on your first hit. It's the second, third, and fourth hit that you do most of the damage. Because yeah. you just kind of bounce the person around. He automatically... He, I'm pretty sure no matter where I am, that unblockable one staggers me no matter what. You mean as long as you're within the circle? No, I'm pretty sure it just staggers me. Oh, like, so look how oh, far it was. So yeah, it's just good if you're not next to him. And he did it twice in a row. Mm. That's not overpowered. And yeah, now you can't see anything. See? Still got hit by it. So hey. yeah, you might be right. It might not really matter where you are. Oh, I think I, I think I can it dodge now. it, actually. This camera needs to f- get high out. Thank you. It's like they heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, give, give me that. Give me that hell. Give me them chips. Did I ever tell you that when I was in college, every time I went to print something, I would uh, I would walk up to it and I would say, Yo, give me that paper. <laughs> so topical. Oh, oh, get him, oh, get him, oh. get him. Oh, that's cool. I had no fucking time to react to that. And now you're going to do some damage on me. That's, that's awesome. Wow, that was, yeah, really. And he's healing. Yeah, yep. Of course he is. There was zero fucking time for me to react. Yeah, to, to that know shit, that you're man. supposed to press circle. Wow. Yep, and I actually man. can't stay still to stop him from doing that either. So you, that means you have to get it while he's going through the ground. Yep. So when's the next time this quick time event's gonna come back? I don't know. Hopefully soon. Yeah. I mean, his health came back, so that's probably the trigger. Yeah, is that he has to get back down to that same amount of health. Just not a fan. Yeah, I rolled through it actually. I rolled through the uh, the stagger and it still were and it still stagger. Yeah, at the end. So you just have to go. You just have to leave. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, come on! I'm rapidly pressing a button and you give me a different fucking button. Did a different company make this last boss fight? So you just have to memorize that sequence. So it's mash circle until you jump on top of them, and then it's a quick time sequence. God damn, that is bad, man. Like, just assume it's X, bro. Next time? Uh, I'm not going to assume that. I mean, I guess I can. You, but... Honestly, I think you're better to work with the assumption that it's X. Like you said, different company made this. <laughs> Must That's have been. like, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a game reviewer, but if I was, there'd be like a point system where it's like, you just lose half the points I gave you for certain shit. Like this, a final boss that in no way, a comp- like in no way, um, encourages the core gameplay while also making you feel like shit in comparison to the rest of the game for no reason. That's half points, buddy. Yeah, automatically. Half game was an points. eight. Nah, it's a four. That's the power I have as an internet review. Yeah, <laughs> I have all the power. Okay, so this little fucking tug of war. I I stopped like, anticipating. No, you gotta wait until he's physically, I guess, on top of him. Yeah, and then his health goes back up. Great. At least I seem to be able to get him back into it pretty quickly. But you just need to not get complacent with those jabber attacks. Yeah, those attacks. Okay. Mash, mash, mash. Just keep mashing. Keep mashing. There you go, now. Yep, didn't have time. Wow. That's like an unbelievable... And you can't fucking kill him without the thing. And his health is just going to keep going up. 
some fucking asshole at the end of the of the the fucking table was like, "Yo, there should be a there should be, you gotta put a fucking QTE in there, gotta be a QTE." And everyone was like, "Yep, definitely not the meme where we throw that guy out the fucking window. It's the time where we give him." Yeah, we actually you got it. Holy shit! Yeah, and then now I get now I get the rage. Oh, uh, I wouldn't have used it then. I thought it was part of the thing. No, like that's just happened to be when it came up. Well, that's some bullshit. Yeah, I think this is a like, there's like two parts to this. What? Whoa! Is he shooting us into space? <laughs> Oh, he's going to remind him of his past and shit. Oh, okay. Do I have to fight my daughter? You might actually have to. No, you don't. I would, so the I would question is, are question. you still giant? No. Is all of this giant? No. no. You sure? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh, yay. Am I going to have to slowly walk to the... Right. The church. I just defeated him, and that's why he was able to suck me into this place, and now I'm weak. What? Yep. Oh, okay. But strong enough to get yeah. open a door. Very weak. While oh my god, they look like sausage people you draw in, like, grade three. <laughs> each of their... <laughs> each of their look, pieces. They look like... They look like those crash test dummies. Oh shit. Other Kratos side? Oh. Kratososes? Kratosi! Kratosa! <laughs> it's the Kratosi! There is nothing you can put in my way to stop me! Multiple Kratosis. Uh. Oh, what? Cool. I still have it, it, I still have it turned on from before. I can't turn it off either. No, so yeah. The, now we don't even have Rage of the Gods for the next. Uh... Yo, killing move on my fucking wife and daughter. <laughs> Come here. Press to hug your family. Hugging will transfer life into them. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that is a neat. Uh, blades, of, or uh, Athena's blade. Mm. Artemis's blade, sorry. Why do these gods of war do not, like, why do these Kratoses do not do anything that I do? And why are, yeah, why are they like jockeys from Left 4 yeah. Dead 2? They just jump on your head and, yeah, why are they leaning down like that? Kratos is not a, whoa. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is actually pretty cool. Yeah, Kratos is not a sloucher like that. He's a very sloucher. upright man. I guess it's to so that you know where you are. Yo, lightning move. Like, uh, Poseidon's Rage. Which is your right move. Yeah, there you go. Good call. <laughs> lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Is that Zeus from... That's Z no, that's Zareth from League of Legends. Oh. <clears throat> Dude, Zeus from Dota 2 was so overpowered when I played. I don't think I've ever actually played Dota 2. Maybe once. Very strange game. It's, if, it's, if someone uh, goes AFK, other people can play your uh, character. That's pretty dope. Like I like that. Like it's uh, Age, of, Age of Empires or something. Like it's Age of Empires. It's pretty funny. This is such a weird fight. It's strange, but this is actually a good example yeah. of a fight utilizing the, the core mechanics. You give me that circle option that's actually different than the way that it normally operates, which is cool. I'm fighting myself, which both is an interesting fight and it kind of it represents uh, like Kratos' inner demons that he bl blames himself for all this shit. Yo, this Kratos out on the ledge throwing lightning bolts is yeah. such a jokester. He's hitting all the other Kratos. He? Yeah, he hasn't hit you or your wife I at actually, all. I'm actually getting stun locked and I can't hug my family. Yeah, you're trying to get to them? I can't hug my family. Yeah, you gotta get people off them before you can get in there. You don't even really have health to transfer. Yeah, it's also kind of awkward because this weapon doesn't have a grab, so it actually is like attacking my family. Oh yeah, because the circle is a uh, heavy attack. You see that one guy just get lifted? He did actually got. Oh my god, man, he just went flying downwards. The air, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's no obvious bet. end to this. This is a bet to end. Well, that I guess was the end, but. Oh, oh. Okay. I couldn't win. Excuse me. Was your goal to like? 
Okay. <laughs> oh, it's actually not. No, okay. it's not the goal. That was just a really violent ending scene. I'm yeah. I was like, man, I've never seen this before. Yo, lucky you. Did you see that? How much fucking stuff I have? Yeah, lucky you. Are you gonna try this one out when we go back? Oh shit. I should probably do that. Yeah. I didn't even know the blades weren't fully upgraded. Uh, cause the blades are still, they might actually be better for this scene in hindsight, cause they have more area. Yeah. I don't like constantly spawning enemies. I don't like how long this takes. Yeah, this was really poorly thought out. There's no acceleration. It just gets up to a certain speed and then it stays at that speed. Hey, it should accelerate, that would be a good idea. It accelerates for maybe the first, uh, thir like 10 seconds, not even, and then yeah, it just... Oh. Infinite magic while Rage of the Gods is active? Oh, that's nuts. Dude, if I knew that... Yo, I'm not using gods right now and it's my fury is up. Yeah, yeah, I'm like really happy about that because now you can actually save that for the final phase. Oops. Uh, here we go. Oh my god. 99 hits. Oh, I almost had more. Do people are people bothered by the sound of the clicking of the remote? I think it's too bad if they are. It's part of God of War. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying I want to do anything about it. I'm just at. Oh, 174 hits, bro. I didn't know. What was that? I didn't. Even I like that you're killing them in one hit, just breaking them down into their two halves. Unfortunately, it's actually not that overpowered because there's still doing it's too, too many of them. Yeah. Family. You gotta do that one, yeah. That one's a, a good move. I can't use the god. Th oh my god. Whoa. Maybe that one's not that good. What's that? The, the spin, though. No. Yeah. There's another one. There's a, a spin move where you just do a spin standing, or is that in the second game? Uh, I don't even know. Pretty sure there is. Ah, oh, damn, I. Uh, well, I was gonna tell you this again. That's cool. That's fine. It's a small issue. Whoa. That is weird, too, because the game has never made me worry about... Falling um, off the edge. Yeah, edge And now falls. you're on a tiny platform. <laughs> Did I get him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah blind fire. <laughs> Hashtag 360 no scope blind fire. Oh, he came back. <laughs> Just don't even bother with that guy, because yeah. he's not hurting your family. This is time for lightning if you have it. Stop hurting my family. <laughs> Give me back my family. Give my family's health back. You imagine you could like command the other Kratoses to give their health to your family? <laughs> they felt bad. There was like something in them that like reminded them of what family is all about. Okay, now use your lightning and hug them again. I like that you spin a lot while doing that. I give a lot more of my like they get more health. Then you, or maybe yeah. they have less health. That's probably actually. Oh, I think we're simpler. progressing. They, see how the Kratos is now have the blade of Artemis. Oh, that's pretty cool. It at least gives us an idea of where we are. I gotta, Holy like, crap! Man. Stagger these guys. To stop this bullshit. We might have to look through some of your attacks after this. Yo, I know my attacks, bro. Oh, I know. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. And now you're going to get stabbed to death. <sighs> I'm... Oh, you... you didn't want to see it happen again? No, I didn't want to see it happen pile again. on? No, thank you, sir. <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah, you, you think you need to look through your attacks? Uh, no. You think you got it? Yeah, because there's only, there's only three... Like, there's... Whatever. I mean, I know my attacks. I'm just not using them. Yeah, I think L1 square is just done better in the second game because you don't jump and move diagonally. You just do it straight over your oh, head. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. So I, it's like I a flat umbrella. That, I, it, no, you, in that, in, in, that, um, <laughs> that umbrella move is um, you hold square at the end of a thing. Really? Yeah. Okay, right, either way. Might of Hercules square hold square. Try that. Yeah, that's it. That's actually exactly what it is, actually. Oh, okay, it's similar. That's Still pretty, pretty sweet, well. yeah. 
I also have uh, this. Oh, no, this. Oh. Yeah, what does that do? I don't know. I'll have to find out. Oh, 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 boy. How did you, how did you suplex me? <laughs> I love that. It's so violent. I don't know if that's even no, it's, it's at all. No, it's too slow. This Far is too annoying. Slow. Definitely worth trying the might of. They can still do damage to my family while I. Well, they, that's happening. That's just silly. That's not, I, what, that's I, not what I wanted. I will never get tired of that. Just smashing someone into the ground so hard that all of their body parts go flying. <laughs> it's so violent. I'm just gonna press, keep pressing the circle. Oh, it's not gonna work. No, because there's just too many of them. That's yeah. You need the blades for that stagger. This is use so the, silly. Use the rage of Hercules. This thing. Yeah, it's not very good actually. No, it's not. My god. Are you trying the, the Artemis blade again? Yeah. It's silly that you put it away to take people off your back. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> this is funny. They can't hurt my wife if they're up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what the You're fuck? You're too far away to hug them. <laughs> <laughs> so bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> The end um, of this game is fucking bullshit, man. Okay, so they give you a, they give you a lot of mana. Can we use that to our advantage somehow? Is there a sp uh, no? But oh, every I could use Hades. Like upgrade it again and try it. No, just like regular Hades. Level two Hades. Because this thing like it goes and gets people, man, and they don't have very much health, and it keeps them off your wife. Get off of my wife. Hades keeps all the men away from my wife. <laughs> I used to have have to beat people off my wife with a stick. Now I use the army of the dead. <laughs> I used to need these swords attached to chains branded into my wrists. But I, now I've got souls on my side. I think what I need to do is stay away so I'm not getting staggered very much. And While then, simultaneously trying to get... Yeah, like... I'm trying to do like abuse this right here where I'm just like staggering all of them like that this is working pretty well so far although they keep they use like half of their fucking health man yeah I know how to do it I'm still thinking that the army of Hades is probably not the best use no, of your mana no, no. or at least you shouldn't have used it so early because at this phase <laughs> not only would it come in handy it would kill enough of them hopefully that you'd get your mana back and it would probably bring back uh You'd probably kill that guy on the floating platform. 100%, yeah, I would kill that guy. I don't like this. But if you're going to use the Army of Hades, I advise upgrading it again. Because whether the mana cost stays the same or decreases, it'll be, like, more bang for your buck. Yeah, that's probably true. This is working pretty well. I think this is the strategy right here. All heavy attacks? No, I'm ending it with a heavy. Oh, okay. Because it's, like, it's knocking them up in the air. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's knocking them down in mass, which is cool. You were talking in a previous episode about um, how removing friendly fire uh, yeah. decreases the skill cap. Um, well, fr yeah, friendly fire was turned off here. When we no, but they can hurt each other. They can hurt each other and have been hurting each other, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah. And when I play um, Super Smash Bros. Um, like with the girlfriend, mm. it'll be me and her versus two comms, but we won't put teams on. Oh. So it's just you, oh. just, you have to not hurt each other. You have to just like not launch an attack while the other person's in there attacking. That is one of the greatest parts of Siege. That's why Siege has such a high skill ceiling, because not just bullets do friendly fire damage, everything. Like if you have an explosive set to, that will go off if a person walks through it and your teammate is next to it, they could die too. So they'll trip it? Uh, no, they won't trip it, but they they'll take the damage. Oh, okay. Any any disorienting thing will do damage. Will disorient your teammate as much as it did um, the enemy. Interesting. And that means that you can't just like keep everything on like all in one spot. You have to make decisions about putting them in spots that are smart. Strategic 
places, yeah. Like, unlike what I'm doing right now. So that's not strategy. It's just... Oh! What? The guys with... They actually telegraph their attacks heavily with the uh, Blade of Artemis. Do they? Yeah. They actually stand there, like, w building up the attack, and then they do way too much damage. Oh, yeah, your health is super low. Like, well, that's because I keep giving it over to my team. Oh, right, that too. Team. <laughs> my team. Yeah. Your fictitious wife and daughter. Hey, they're real to me. Actually, for all you know, you're in the underworld, so they might actually be real. Those might be their souls. You gonna do this now? Well, I should, because then it'll save the checkpoint. I won't have to do it later. Uh, I don't know if that'll work, but hopefully. Hopefully. I feel like some, like, elevator music, like... That's, isn't that the Price is Right music? It's yes. totally the Price is Right you know, music. Aaron Paul was on there. She's coming down to get her prize. Come on down. And I did actually know that. I've seen him on there. Didn't he? Uh, did he win his showcase? No, he lost the whole thing. I'm pretty sure. But he did go to the showcase. Yes, and he was actually very close. I'm pretty sure to winning both. Yeah, he was just a little over. I'm pretty sure. I think the frame rate's Rough. actually better now that I've, now that I have the different blade, the blades here, the red ones. Yeah, that's a good point. I have sort of noticed that. It's almost like the red ones are more efficient. I actually think I'm at the end here. Yeah, it does seem to be lightening up. <laughs> right into my family. So mad. Yeah, <laughs> he just fell off the edge. That's pretty amazing. I love what my first thought, like the way that this game is designed, is like, ooh, kill move on my family. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're not even real, Kratos. His head's gonna come up over that edge. <laughs> Just like that Calvin and Hobbes scene yeah. with, the, with the snowman. <laughs> it's going to. No. Maybe not. Yeah. Where are we? That's it's why I was surprised like you leveled up the blades, because you lose the blades right here. Uh-oh. No! Well, I mean, if it's a constellation, they both hit the wife, so hopefully the daughter's all right. Yeah, yeah, she's cool. She's fine. She's she cool. He's got a sword now? Is it gonna be a... Oh yeah! The battle was not that was a sick roll. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a... That was like the fat roll in Dark Souls. <laughs> I actually... I, I don't know if I mentioned it or if I mentioned that I didn't mention it when we were running across that sword. I think... Did I say foreshadowing? Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. Shall I point out that he's resting that directly on his trap? Mm -hmm. That would hurt so much. Well, it hasn't been sharpened. It's been using. They're using it as a fuck. Oh shit, dude. Weird. What is, that? what is happening? What the fuck was that? Like you, you have to battle all the way to your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like our health is. Yeah, it's like a tug of war. So you don't have any magic anymore. No. Because so, I'm pretty sure the blades actually gave you that magic ability. Oh, and he even said no more magic. No magic. Ow! Ow! I'm not even sure if there's like a strategy here because I'm kind of just blocking and then attacking when he's not attacking. Now he's suddenly using a sword because you were gonna use a sword. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's the move. Oh shit. Everybody's yeah. favorite. Everybody's favorite move. And it's almost over now. The crippler. <laughs> the crippler. Or the tickler. Yeah, they call it the tickler. There's a no. There's no way that they're they're not indicating. A you. They're not indicating that I'm going to have to do a quick time event at all. And then it just happens. It's really dumb. I'm pretty sure it's anytime you get a parry because you guys become like inner locked. I don't think it is because it only happened once and I. Maybe it is. No, I'm now I'm locked in the animation. So this handles like the Blade of Artemis? Yeah, basically. I'm trying to... What's it called? Parry? Yeah. It's not working. Nope. Nope. Hmm, maybe not. You get magic. That's not fair. 
You just gotta fight through that. Yeah, wow. Like, the fuck is that shit? I blocked both of those. But no, can't be done. Well, and also what makes absolutely no sense to me... Please tell me this is a bunch of damage to him. It better. Okay, well... And what's the fucking rule on quick time events? Because that did no... There was no quick time event beyond the circle. And I did several things. Yeah, that's true. You just because you won the circle battle, you get the rest. And I think that's the deal. Either you win or he wins, and whoever wins gets a huge advantage. It feels like when you get to this phase, you might as well just lose so that it resets. And then you can <coughs> start back from center. I think you actually get more, more power the more damage you're getting off. Like, his horn was red. Oh, no, it's always red. And mine's just boring old... Sword, yeah. yeah. Metal sword. sword. Mm, boring sword. I don't even know what the fucking strategy is here. I I just think you just need to be... I Don't even try and parry, just block. I can't. Wow. I can't. Great. This is how I remember when, when we were young. I remember you getting so angry at this because... This is probably... Pfft, this is worse than the first phase. This it's is a lot worse than the first worse. phase. I actually missed the first phase now. Yeah, because there's no core gameplay here. This isn't even the actual Blade of Artemis. It just happens to handle that way because... Cool. There was no way to uh, counter that. No obvious way, at least. He or says, you now mean... you will truly be tested. Which is really not true. Because you've already been tested. This is just... Cruel. Yeah, I went through a full fucking... Like, that is dumb. Make it one move, you fucking douchebag. Don't make it a, a stun lock into another move. That's that's a whole... Whatever. Yeah, well now... I've never made any games. I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. And you can't even see yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, see, look, why, why keep battling when you could just wait? Like, just wait to go back to half. Because that's, that's how it works. This is a, a tug of war. Can't block that one either. I'm not even sure if there's like. I think you just gotta hit him. Yeah, thank you. Fucking rub him salt in my wounds, <sighs> you fucking bitch. I don't know. I, did you block that or did you try and hit him first thing? Uh, just fucking kill me, you piece of shit. I feel like as like an insult to the company that or to whoever made this final thing we should do the rest of this playthrough in silence notice that <laughs> he's like not attacking out. you now that you're not attacking him just cut out the audio and sit here quietly oh okay <laughs> yeah this is uh this is worse this is definitely worse no yeah, magic no telegraph on that either no magic no actual weapons that you use in the game this and is fun i'm enjoying this are you enjoying like this? i can't believe he's not attacking you while you're not attacking him what is that like <laughs> what even is that i have no idea it's that's the mountain collapse <laughs> just brings in the walls of a mountain yo you like stalactites <laughs> i'm a big stalactite guy that was like a tag your it moment <laughs> Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Okay. Why did you slow motion on that shit? Was that helpful? How am I supposed to stop that? What? That, the souls specifically? Do I have moves? I, I, no, I have no magic. What are your L moves? Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, just, just try and get away from him and try out all your L moves. What the fuck? Holy shit. Yo, use that on him when he's trying to use the mountain collapse thing. Yeah, okay, okay. So that was your triangle, L1 triangle? Yeah. What's your L1 circle? No, that, no, no, that was not my L1 circle. Oh. That's my that's my triangle. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so <laughs> slow. <laughs> and then what's square? Is that square? Oh, I blocked it. This is block. It's like a regular Okay. Thing. And then your X? There's no way to get away from that. 
X? Uh, I haven't even tried that. Ooh! Whoa! That's, X is combo attack, that's bro! That's essentially like, I'm just gonna swing randomly <laughs> yeah. in the air, and if you get in the way, it's your this fault. Is, this is the whirly gig. The whirly gig. So, try and use either A or circle, or X or circle, when he goes to do the mountain collapse. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's part of it. And then, you know... Just... It doesn't matter. No, it didn't matter. So you gotta use maybe X then. X is a little more... I actually think that, that parrying might actually be the secret to this. The only way to do it? But it's so strange that he doesn't attack you. And then there's no way to stop that shit, man. Yeah, I don't even know how to get into one of those parry sequences. And he blocked the whole thing. Yeah, like, that's what I don't understand. Why would you give me these long, complicated attacks if Hades can interrupt halfway through each of them? You can't stagger him. This whole thing is just, like... What's crazy is that they put all this effort into how Kratos is going to attack with this sword, but you can't even use most of them. And see, that's useless that because stuck. there's so much... Yeah. yeah. So useless. Even that X one is useless. There's no way around no, that! You can't. Actually, maybe you can chop them up. Maybe. Just, just, just. Oh my god. Yeah, and now you have no range. Like, no range what whatsoever. What game are we playing? You is definitely this, have. Is this still God of War? You can have you to parry. The, can you open up the PS2 disc tray? I'm not even just sure make if I'm sure it's God still in there. Gal, yeah. Yeah, Wait, if we weren't fighting Ares a right now. Trickster, fucking Dexter, like changed out the uh, the disc. He's like, yo, you think you can fucking keep me still? Rape. Okay, Didn't so matter. basically that just stabilized you. Then yeah, I might as well just dodge that. I don't think I've seen us gain any progress. Well, we did there for a second there, and then lost it all. Yeah, for a very small portion of a second. And then I couldn't tell because the depth perception's off because it's a video game. Oh, boy. And he just randomly has a sword because we do. Well, you have to balance things out, right? Right, because that just makes sense. There's no time to do any to gain anything. Like I can get like one attack off on him and that. I think that's all you can do is just run up to him, hit him, run away. Run up to him, hit him, and run away. But what's the point? What's the fun in that? And he blocks my only attack that I get. You watch. He's just going to do that Hades soul thing anytime now. This also, this also, the strategy that we're figuring out, the only thing that we've even gotten close, into, close to, is that uh, uh, in no way... Uh, Kratos' style. This battle? Yeah. Yeah. I'm running away from him. It's, yeah, it's so true. It's not Kratos at all. Okay, well, I guess that, that That's worked. That's right there. I'm yeah. going to avoid him until he does that, and I'm going to slowly whittle him. He's, yeah, he's still too fast, and he's too, um, he has too much range. He can attack you from so far away. But this will coax him into doing it. Sooner or later. This is this is just yeah. You just dumb. can't get anywhere near him. Exactly he what what was I supposed to learn from this this thing that I just learned about? He blocks it. That's that's fucking great. And wow. How does yeah? How does that go through the block? That's what I really don't understand. You just waiting for it, eh? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight this shit. That happens every oh. time. You always get stopped at like that one percent mark for some reason. It basically just seems like you need a flawless run. If you can believe it, I actually am more frustrated by this than uh, any boss fight in Dark Souls. I believe that this has been this has taken longer, been more repetitive, and had less to strategize on. Well, there's no telegraphs on most of the shit he does. Like, that swing he does, it's just like, oh, well. Which swing? I, I mean... The the one that he does, like, he, he's doing... <sighs> so, that, yeah. I was staggered for there. Like, I, I couldn't actually stop that. That's a guaranteed hit, because you cannot get around that. 
You tried blocking them and that didn't work. Yep. And then I was staggered again while he has time to get up to me. And then he staggers me on that, and then he gives me the fucking arms. And then that's gonna hit you again. And I can't slice through those. Alright, okay. Man. I feel like this is almost one of those moments where you should look up how you're supposed to defeat Hades. I kind of want to just, like, we, we're all about, like, presenting the game, right? I kind of want to just be like, you know what? This is it? Let's this just is not the finish end? it. Yeah. Let's leave people unsatisfied like you would be if you played this fucking stupid game. And got all this way. It, it kind of feels like this game has two parts. There's pre-Ares and Ares. Because these three scenes, the first fighting scene, the scene with your wife, and this scene, take so long, they don't even really feel like they're connected. Yeah, with this fucking boss fight. Yeah, he has all everything that I just did is all gone in one fucking move. Yeah, that corpser attack is stupid. With where he just sends his arms out at you, and there's no way to stop that. There's no way to even fucking get away from that. He attacks so much faster than you can even fucking. Well, also respond. you don't stagger him; he staggers you. Yeah, and that fire move can't be blocked or telegraphed in any way. It seems like you have to memorize how to beat him. Yeah, which is you, you know, know like is great if this was a card game about memory, uh, <laughs> but it's a video game about fighting people and generally fighting people weaker than you. I should have joined. I did join you. <laughs> I'm still trying to. Yeah, this this has been quite frustrating. Because we're already behind the curve now. It's not just frustrating, it's like disappointing actually. Yeah. I I loved this game. Until this. Until this whole Aries thing. I actually absolutely loved it. That's why I requested that we play it today, because it was like really enjoying our yeah. playthrough. But yeah. I feel like when we get to these episodes, the playthrough it just loses its steam. Yeah, well, we didn't tarnish it. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Yeah, you really can't blame us for this. Like, one. Well, you, you want me to fucking make some jokes <coughs> over this bullshit ass gameplay? That's so true. All the jokes have gone away. We we had so many more jokes in that Kratos wife scene because that's how the game is. So there's cool. no way to avoid those. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's a way to, I don't know, maybe they just were really afraid that people were going to rent this game and beat it. <laughs> like, if they beat the so, game, they won't have to re-rent it. They're like, we'll make the first, like, we'll make the game eight hours, and then the, the Ares fight will take, like, another two. Okay, I think I'm I'm going to have to cave, and I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And while you're at it, try to find a forum uh, where people are, like, praise how good this boss fight and is. And just shit on it's them? It's not going to be there. <laughs> I guarantee that shit. Okay, Ares fight... God of War 1. Really hope somebody has a, an efficient walkthrough. It's, it's hard to read and pay attention at the same time, and I'm not watching a video. Defeating the, Ares. The, vi the video would actually be better. I don't know if we should say it out loud, though. The name of the we'll, video? Uh, like, we'll pause the video. We'll be back in a sec. Uh, welcome back. So, apparently, I'm just a, an, an idiot, and it's just, you, just gotta, you just gotta get good. <laughs> get good, kid. You can try again. You just wait till the next attempt. Ha! <laughs> Come back, beat him 100% from zero. You didn't beat me in the second you thought you were going to beat me. I've moved slightly to the left, and I have a small bulletproof shield on me. <laughs> so if you hit it, you will feel very silly. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, the walkthrough didn't show me how to be defeat that bullshit. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know how this works. We're just trying. Maybe walk up to him and don't even attack to him. Just walk up to him, wait till he starts attacking you, and then try and parry. Okay. Swing at me, bro. <laughs> Coming in with the mad block. This is so weird. Okay, so as soon as you attack, he brings his sword up. No, I don't want easy mode. Thank you very much. How about you put that shit in the menu and stop bothering me? Yeah, where it should be. Optional. I wonder if a heavy attack gets through his blocks. 
I wonder if I could see my character. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of the the camera angles in pretty much this entire fight. Yep, that's fucking cool. That's the problem, is that everything's fine, and then all of a sudden there's one stagger, and that stagger... Ooh. Ooh, interesting. It's a very fine fucking moment there. Yeah, so... What? Okay. Do we need to actually read how the f mechanic works? Because <laughs> all we did was watch a video on someone else doing it. I don't know, I think you're right about the parry part. You just have to, just yeah, like, you just really have to, to get that? good. I don't know, man. Maybe I have to attack at the same time, because I did actually parry him with an attack. Oh, so you didn't actually parry that time? I don't even know. It's a fucking cool move, man. There you go, there you go, there you go. You got him. Because this is actually going to, this is going to put it back in my favor. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I can't, I can't stay there too long. That's the trick. Yeah, because when he smashes that sword down, does some real damage. Okay. So did you parry him with an attack or a attack? Yeah. Okay. So you just need to be kind of attacking at the same time he is. Yeah, basically. That's weird. So we gotta leg up. I don't take back what I said. This is still in, in no way God of War. You put me in a fucking moment where I'm playing a game that's completely different than the original version of it that I've been playing for eight straight fucking hours, and you're gonna ask me to end it differently than it was for the rest of the fucking game. Yeah, with and not only that, it's not even like they're ending it with your health bar and his health bar. You are literally having a digital tug of war with your health bar. That has nothing to do with how you played the game and where your health was at. Yeah. All those collectibles didn't mean a goddamn thing for this. No. No, yeah, if you had no collectibles whatsoever in the basic health, it wouldn't affect this phase of the fight at all. I also have no dodge uh, invincibility. He still hits me in the, in the roll. Yeah, there's no invincibility frames you in there? Took, you took away the thing that has been in the game for eight hours. It's almost like I've been talking about this for a while. It's like it's a consistent theme. We knew this was coming, but I don't think we expected it to be this I didn't know this was bad. coming, actually. I remembered the sword fight. I don't remember it being this fucking dumb, though. I assumed that we still were going to have our health bar. Yeah, that would have been a smart idea. That would have been, like, a consistent, balanced idea. <laughs> but what the fuck I know about it? Because I just think he should have just taken the blades, and everything else should have stayed the same. You had to fight him with only this weapon and your magic. And he shouldn't just, like, take your magic and use it against you. That's so dumb. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably actually in, in, in intending to balance it out, actually. Yeah, that's so hard to avoid, man. Oh my god, that just brings... It's just like, fuck you, is basically what it is. It kind of seems like the only way to avoid it is to wait for them to be coming downwards and roll so that they hit the ground. Uh, uh sure. But that's just... It's like, uh... That, it's, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the playthrough that we watched online made it seem so easy. Yeah, but how fucking long did that guy spend... Practicing? Yeah, yeah it's true. Or girl. <laughs> that person. And that did not do enough. Oh, that's cool. He has invincibility frames. I'm glad. I'm really happy for him. Well, at least somebody has invincibility <laughs> frames. <laughs> <laughs> that Yo, is so fucking bullshit. I it, hate that so much. The fire, yeah, the fire hand. No, the fire combined with the thing. It makes it seem like it's two different moves. It's one move. Because it's impossible to get out of the first part. Next time you get him in one of those uh, lock moments where you stab the crap out of him, yeah. use one of your special L1 yeah, moves that would be a smart idea. right afterwards. Try out the X1. I just want to see what the whole thing looks like. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right though about just constantly attacking him. Yeah, you just you gotta stay in there because his ranged moves are way better than your ability to avoid them. So I got I got damaged by the uh, by the fucking kinetic energy of the rocks. You pretty much get damaged for everything in this fight. Yeah. <laughs> you stand up to take a piss, you get damaged. <laughs> If you do pretty much wow. anything other he than... He locked on to me. Yep. 
That is like kinetic energy of the rocks. No fucking strat there. There's bound to be some shrapnel when rocks come together like that, bro. Right, it's a realistic game. It's now. shrapnel. It's That's for just sure. fucking magic. Shattered rock and shit. I'm a magic man who got really big and used a sword that I was once using as a bridge. <laughs> this sword was once my bridge, and now it will be your... Oh, yeah, yeah. Got him. It's, I don't know if it's going to turn it back into your favor, but the X move afterwards. Dude, no! Run. I was trying to time that, but I forgot that I don't have invincibility frames anymore. Mm -hmm. Not that they told me about it or anything. At least you know that. Ah! Right at the end of that range. Yep, and that's basically impossible to avoid. Might as well just, like, when he's coming at me, I'm just going to start attacking. I just don't understand what makes sometimes you lock and sometimes you don't. And yeah, you might as well stay right next to him when he's casting that. I'm actually just gonna keep attacking him no matter yeah, what he's doing. just do it. Fuck you. Oh, man. Fuck you so fucking hard, you piece of shit. This Look is, how much is... that... Jesus. I almost said something really mean. I don't know how to... Yeah, I don't understand. Why do you, sometimes you enter it and sometimes you don't? You really shouldn't slow down this unless you're... like a legit tactic. Just bullying it? Just I uh, just constantly attacking him because eventually it's gonna put us in this. And then and this will give you more, yeah. Though. And then you can it's it's cool that you get health by attacking him, but at the same time it's not cool. God, that is so annoying. And yay, we're back to normal. Oh, and now I've lost it. And you know what you could have done instead to get back to normal? Died. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Basically. Basically, the only reason you don't want to do that is because you'd have to wait at a loading screen. Dude, <laughs> There's as soon- no rhyme or reason! As soon as that happens and it doesn't work, you need to dodge immediately. Because he always follows it up with the fire hand. There's no explanation, dude. It's the same animation for when he blocks or doesn't block it. And why did he beat you on that one? Well, that was just me not pressing buttons fast enough. Jesus, just die. No. <laughs> no choice. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Epic hour-long finale. Yeah. Well, epic, that's the word. It's exactly the word I was going to use for it. I'm just going to brute force this bullshit. So it basically seems like you lock swords when you are attacking at the exact same moment he's attacking, which is totally how sword fighting works. <laughs> and, then, and now it's just not working. Yeah. It's been working several times in a row, but now it's just not working. Oh, well, like okay. I said, you actually are better off dying than trying to battle your way back. Mm -hmm. So, good. I'm glad you died. <laughs> and now, yeah, starting right out of the gate. Already taking damage. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. It's the fire that doesn't work. Nope, nope, that didn't work. And there's the fire. Just doing that to keep health back. Dude, you, have, you cannot go anywhere. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got him where I <laughs> Got him right in the pocket. <laughs> I've actually managed to balance myself out with him. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Mash, mash, mash! Oh, boy. Here that we looks go. so painful. X. Yep, he's going to use it. Hey. Mm, not from yeah. where I'm standing, <laughs> oh. dude. Don't celebrate, it, dude. I was attacking in the last fucking. Do not frame, celebrate, dude. <laughs> oh man, if that did damage. Yeah, you're lucky. The them kinetic rocks didn't get you. I hate that bullshit so much, man. That is like just terrible. Yeah. And now we're right back where we started. Cool, man. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. You cannot block that, can you? No, not that once he uses the fire, which has no fucking way of, of, of getting around. Yep, and that that indicates that something's going badly, but in no way gives me a, an opportunity to stop yeah. him. Yeah. And right there we go from basically killing him to it's over. Yeah. Okay. I think their intention of doing this was balancing out you not having like 
so that <clears throat> no matter what you leveled up, that this would be a balanced fight, but it ended up being making it like an extremely frustrating and boring fight. That's all it is. It's just really frustrating and really boring. There's nothing about this is particularly engaging. Okay, maybe that didn't work as well as I had hoped yeah, it would. Yeah, it's, it's really dumb, actually. They give you all these things and then don't let you use them. Yeah, he's not down for very long. You maybe hit him just with a big circle smash. Maybe. Just do a uh, Hulk slam. You're right, that is one move. He always uses it at the same time. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Nice, I can't believe you made it out of that one. No confidence in your old bro. Oh, I got confidence in you, bro. I don't have confidence in God of War right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Like, how am I supposed to perceive where those are? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously, you're in a dark area with a randomized camera angle. I love that little thing he does. That what? little, like, stagger thing he does where he's like, rah! Yeah, he just shouts at you? Yeah, basically just, like, lets me attack him. Spartan! Yeah. My arms are long! <laughs> <laughs> just flexing for you. Yes, 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 yes! Mash! Mash it! Got you right where Got I Got you in the legs. Got you in the stomach. Got you in the head! Yeah, great. So super invulnerable in that period. Uh oh. That was just bad placement. This is. Wow. This is fucking dumb. Kratos is all about being aggressive, and you're not rewarding my aggression. You're actually rewarding me being a fucking pussy. Yeah, this fight is more about avoidance than anything. I know we've said in the past that there are a lot of scenes that are about avoidance, but this is the final fight. <sighs> Whatever. And now he decides to stop attacking you. That just proves this fight is very poorly designed. He is only designed to attack you while you're attacking him so that you guys can get engaged in those very specific cutscenes so that that can advance the battle. Who wrote this? Yeah, I, don't, I think they had, like, a small team working on this shit while the rest of the good people are doing, like, the real work. But just who thought that this one health bar thing was a great idea? I just don't get that part. It would be in a different game. Yeah, in a game that, like, is applicable. <laughs> says that every time. I'm just laughing about how, like, we've just kind of exhausted ourselves well, yeah. in anger, and there's, like, nothing new to say. I mean, what else are we going to say? We're not going to just keep shitting on the game, except for in the moments that it shits on itself. And yeah. there's not really a ton extra to say. All the big reveals have happened. We're just waiting for the credits so that we can <laughs> shit on it even more. Yeah, so I can talk about how much better God of War 2 is. Well, and in some ways, we want to prove that it's, like, doable. <laughs> At least God of War 2 has, like... God of War 2 does the same thing, actually. It is a sword fight against Zeus, but it's, like, a fight for the sword. Makes more, makes way more sense. And, like, he keeps getting it back from you, and then you have to take it from him and use it. It's really fucking cool. I like it. I just find it really hard to believe that Hades sucks you into a portal and steals all of your magic and weapons, and yet he can't take a sword out of your hands. A, not even a mythical sword, just a piece of metal that used to be a bridge. Yeah. And that's basically impossible to avoid. And can you just imagine all of the other gods looking at Ares after losing this battle and being like, you are the biggest pussy in the world. You <laughs> lost to a guy holding a bridge. <laughs> a mortal whose power you stripped, wielding a bridge, was able to defeat you in sword combat. Dude, I fucking... I avoided the fire and still got hit by the corpse move. Oh, man. Because, yeah, it's still an attack, even if you're not staggered. And once he gets the first one off me, I can't block. It's so arbitrary that you have to just randomly hit swords at the same time. Yeah. Maybe use your square attack instead of your triangle attack. I have been. The oh. triangle one actually usually gets it more often. Oh, cool. And yeah, what are those moments? I, this whole thing is just confusing. And you can still block, but blocking doesn't allow you to parry all of a sudden? There what is going on? I blocked for a bit there. 
Same problem of hitting the block button. Oh, and yeah, getting locked into an animation. I can't. also can't knock him up like I had been doing to every enemy in the game. Yeah, which is a huge part of the mechanic. Staggering and now people. Now we're right back where we started. <laughs> and that's what's so frustrating is that sometimes you'll try really hard just to get to where you could be by dying. What? Well, there's no risk reward there. You should lose something when you die, but you don't necessarily. You know, and now, like now, I it's advantageous for you this. to die. Like, this is just terrible. Like, aren't yeah, like just. Oh man, it's. I can't believe how close we were that There's one time. There's no way. <laughs> Sometimes I'm blocking it because it's a blockable uh, thing. Other times it's not blockable, and he just fires me, then hits me with his arms, and brings me back to where we started. And this won't even bring you back to where you started, bro. And you go through him, so your final attack tends to not be effective. Yeah, there's several moments where he arbitrarily is not attackable. Yeah, like in the last scene where sometimes he would just um, yep, deflect cool. things with his wings, and other times... I can't even lose when I want to. Because he doesn't want to attack you. Oh man, it's just so bad. Can you watch to see if there's some sort of telegraph for that fireball hand? Uh, yeah, I've been watching and I don't, I think, no, no. he just did it. No, there's nothing. And I just got locked in my blocking animation. Yeah, you just, oh, wow. Oh, good. <laughs> Yep, I have to just anticipate it and bl get away from it no matter what he's doing because there's no way to figure it out. There's no way to know if he's going to do that sword attack or the fireball attack. But so your best strategy, though, has been getting close to him, which you're not doing anymore. Your yeah. best strategy has been staying right in that pocket and just abusing attacking him. Yeah. All right, well, we'll try it again. The, I think the best strategy is to try and go to the side when you do dodge, mm. left or right. He actually locks on and follows you. Oh my god. Yeah. So then maybe not. That's a cool Yeah, way thanks for coming over here, bro. Nice way to start the fight. At oh. least that technically gained you something. <laughs> yeah, you predicted it. That's the way to do it, man. <laughs> yep. Come on, buddy. Lock swords with me, baby. Do it. He's going to do his mountain collapse. God fucking damn you. You are such a cunt. Like definition. Look it up in the Bible. Not the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Get out of there! Get out of there! That was a miss. That was a that was a poorly said statement. Yeah, you, you still got to try not the third. You can't get a third attack. No, whatever. when he's doing That's that. Fine. That's cool. I'm just gonna put this over here. Are uh, you just gonna wait? <laughs> my apologies to uh, Bible readers. <laughs> it was not my intention. When you get really angry about stuff, it's really easy to say things that you didn't mean. You know. <laughs> I'm sure, you can all hear that. This just goes to show how slowly. Like this. <laughs> maybe, maybe not put it there. Why did I do better when I wasn't playing? This is so dumb. Oh my god. But yeah, I think I think you rushed it though. That's why you didn't get them is because you tried to do three attacks and you cannot do three attacks. You only have room for two. Yeah. So it's one, two, and then you got to get the hell out of there. Okay. Well, not I meant in that particular moment, but no, well, two, two is maybe a good two. rule. Yeah. But the, the problem is if you stay too far away from him, you'll never get... There we go. Nope. Ah. Nope. And that is just a, a dumb fucking move where there's no yeah. fucking So those angle. hit you, and then he'll hit you with his fire blast, and then his corpse are moved. 
But I think we've proved that the way to beat him is to wait until you have a perfect run and then just use that perfect run to defeat him. That's it. Like, it's not, a, it's not about doing it right, it's about being lucky, I think. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm sure somebody can do this shit. Yeah, you're totally that's right. That's the thing, the third attack always gets you in trouble. And that's so dumb, you can only get two attacks in. I don't even think you have time to do your uh, L1 circle attack. No. Hey. That was a nice dodge. Thanks. Okay. Hey, you ready to reset, buddy? Yeah, let's equalize some stuff here. I just like how vicious this is because it makes me feel good. Yeah, it makes well, yeah, it's it's very satisfying. There we go. That's the move. It would just be nice if you had some sort of ranged attack. Well, yeah, that that would actually make fucking sense. Okay. At least you stagger him with these heavy attacks. There we go. There we go. Nope. Ah, damn it. Nope. It's so arbitrary. No, you gotta stay near him and just keep attacking him. No, cause then, cause right after he does that Hades move, he does his stupid fireball corpse attack thing. Which is why I'm thinking you gotta stay near him and just get as many points in as you can before those souls come back around. I wonder. Oh. Just die. At this point? <laughs> 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 okay. You are dead, but you can't die until you stand up. Yeah. Stand up and take your death like a man. <laughs> Rise and die. <laughs> Rise to fall, champion. He actually stops for a moment there, too. That's pretty cool. When he says that to you, yeah. now you'll be truly tested. Yeah. Yep, that's impossible to move out of it. Oh, if I get a good spot on him, that'll actually, that actually works. Like staggers him, you mean? The combo, yeah. Okay. Okay, buddy. Aw. Oh. Now what you got. Watch out for the fireball. God damn it. God, you fucking piece of shit. Oh my fucking god, I hate this so much. He just abuses those attacks when it's near the end. Yep, and now we're right back. Yeah, we're pretty much back where we started. There's not much to be said. So what was that heavy attack you were landing that was actually working? Oh, it was just this. But and that's... I, I just managed to get it off while he was doing that thing. And it didn't even work this time. So yeah. that's also a random element. That was just a fluke, yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing. So we just need to get lucky enough that we can get him into a position to kill him. And this is starting to turn into a movie. Hey, thank you. Thank you for, for pursuing this fucking ridiculous venture. Thank you for being here this long and putting up with this much bullshit from us, too, because we're definitely not making this any more enjoyable. Well, yeah, we could have broken this up into episodes. We could have maybe... Yeah, we had no idea, though. Yeah, no. We just... Dude, we could have made, like... You know how many fucking episodes this could have been? <laughs> yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, we could, <laughs> could have made a solid chunk of episodes, but, hey, I'm happy with the decision we made. Yeah, whatever. Because this kind of showcases how stupid this is. Because if you were sitting at home doing this on your own, you'd have to play for just as long as we're playing right now. Probably. Or you just give it up. Which, I mean, we're starting to seriously consider. No, I'm not. I no, just, you're beating this? I was saying that in anger. Like, I'm, Ah, this is happening. This, this ain't fucking over, buddy. Uh, just have him kill you. No, we no, gotta, you, you gotta attack. Yeah, that's I, what I, I mean. Can't. Well, when I say have him kill you, I mean don't run away. Just get near him. And, and try and initiate his attack sequence. You basically have to beat this guy in like the first minute. Yeah, you have o to beat otherwise... him immediately. Yeah. You need to get uh, at least one, if not two, um, parries on him and get good damage in all those other moments. This is the you only just option. Say get good. <laughs> yeah, you need to get good, bro.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that fireball, bro. Is that actually restarted? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Okay. That's faster than waiting for him to not attack you. It's a good start. Good start. Yeah, better than nothing. <laughs> Retreating looks like a speed run. Like, oh, yeah, it's a good, 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 good start. Good start. Yep, he got those first couple attacks in. Oh, there he dodged the fireball. That was the first main move. Now he needs to try and get a parry off. He's going to try and lock with Hades and... Okay, so right now his sword is down and back. Oh, I'm trying to see. That cryptic. I'm trying to see if that's part of it. The the pose he's in. Oh yeah, well, there's no way out of that. No. Oh boy. Okay, his sword is still down and back. And there is no... Uh... So there is a telegraph when he's going to start attacking with his sword. Is there? Well, he just he d does a huge swing. But the problem is, when he would go to do that swing, he could also do his fireball just instantly. Yeah, and there's no... There's no telegraph on the fireball, no. And we always know when he's about to do his tentacle attack, but it's right after I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's either after he attacks or... Oh, boy. Nothing about this fight. It feels like God of War. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's a good point. It doesn't feel like you could throw you could throw a Sonic skin on Kratos in the regular game, and you'd still feel like you're playing God of War. Because if you like, put it on the, here, there's a style. You could put Mario on this fucking, and I'd be like, oh yeah, it's Mario. It's just like a sword fighting section of Mario. Yeah, or it's like Hyrule Warrior or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. Like, do you know the? Um, Nakey Jakey has a, a series called uh, Games That Should Bang. Oh, like and have kids? Where yeah, he That's describes epic. two elements of, of a elements of games that should go that would go really really well together. And it's generally like games that didn't quite do everything that well. I don't know, I might be able to block that, but there's no way of fucking knowing if he's gonna do the blockable thing. You got him. There we go. But yeah, games that should bang is really good because it's like he doesn't really illustrate it. He describes it to you really well, and he uses utilizes gameplay of other things uh, to describe his like. Yeah, yeah. So there isn't any way to block that fire attack. Nope. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? So Ares is just gonna have an interrupt. Yeah, I, I don't know. So he's going to have the souls of the dead. Okay. How are you going to deal with the souls of the dead? You can't. All right. Well, is there a way for you to predict it and move away from it? No. Can you roll away from them? Uh, yeah, there's like a 1% chance. What bothers me is that at some point there was a phase where they were just doing table discussions and talking about the generalized mechanics. And somehow in that portion, they came up with this move set. Like, how is it even possible? Who thought it was a good idea for him to have a ranged attack that you can't dodge while you have no ranged attacks of your own? Yeah. I, that makes no sense to me. Come on, Ares. <sighs> Gonna be our bitch today. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, dude. This fucking Finally. randomly got it. Well, that's what I said. Luck. Took uh, us took us an hour and twenty five minutes to get lucky enough. I haven't forgotten Ares. I remember how you saved me that night. I don't really care anymore. Yeah. Like this would have been way. I, they should have shown this to us before the fight. <laughs> yeah. So we would have cared. Dude, they could have shown it to us during the fight, and we'd be done. Yeah, actually, that would have been a, a better way to do it. They could have just rolled the credits. I mean, this is still pretty cool, though. It's really it well animated. Cool. Oh, that's how gods die. Doesn't he? I think he explodes, maybe. Kratos had done me Turns to fire. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> he turns around and he's like, yeah, whatever. Oh my god, just levels the city of Athens. 
No, Athens should be fine. Right. Nukes. Oh, okay. not maybe that not, big a not deal. So much. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, it's fine. That's yeah, fine. It's just dusty. Ares has reached the city. <laughs> <laughs> the wave is coming. <laughs> Who was sitting on a painting, apparently. <laughs> Look at the shadows. There's no shadows. <laughs> just on his neck. <laughs> nice neck shadows, buddy. I cross-eyed Ath Athena. Yeah, she is pretty cross-eyed. Your sins would be forgiven, and so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man. She no fucking bamboozled you. Yeah. Because that was the deal, right? Yeah. Knowing the visions of his past. Basically, it's it's like if you said you're gonna give somebody a million doll hairs. <laughs> That's essentially what they did. It was eight hours. No, fucking fucking ten hours. <laughs> all for that <laughs> yeah to get bamboozled <laughs> and here's where the, the the this is where the game started oh on the edge of this that's right it did yeah. he's probably not wrong I love how stoic he is about this yeah he's like all right if I land what? head first he's already died once that's true and he's probably like, this will be more comfortable than getting speared by a, a marble column. That's got to be a tall-ass thing for it to take this long. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got to be way up there. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, he would hit the surface and stop like it was concrete. Yeah. And then... <laughs> I like that they make him fall first rather than just yeah. raising him from the top of the mountain. <laughs> fucking, they straight up bamboozled him twice in a row. Yeah. It's like fucking filthy Frank. Prank, yo! <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, you can kill yourself. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pranked. His path of destruction had to be stopped. I love how at the same table that they decided on that bullshit ending, they also, uh, no one questioned like no one had said hey yeah uh, athena looks like she's cross-eyed because of the shadows and they're like no, no 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 it's accurate it's like yeah but it doesn't work like i don't think we should do it no no no, it's fine go with go with mathematical and symmetrical oh cool oh the game's still going no 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 like i they I, wanted us to walk through that door just to play another cinematic uh yeah we're gonna just gonna go sit on our throne yep so That's now that there's no god order. of war, yeah. they decide to put the next most ruthless being in existence, Kratos, right into Ares' seat. Mm -hmm. That seems like a terrible idea. Oh, good, a save point. Right. Okay. Uh, Just in case I die between here and the throne. We haven't been saving, like, on screen. We've been saving off screen just because it, it saves checkpoints fine. So here we go. You finally get the experience of overwrites since like episode four there's your save all those ocd <laughs> people out there <laughs> yeah i bet that bugged the shit out of people me just running by this is the throne of the god of war take your rightful place upon it they couldn't tell you that when yeah you him. like come on do you want to sit down yes and, i want to they, sit down they let his hand clip into the fucking carpet in the most important scene debatably in the game Yeah, he 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 was there for World War II. <laughs> hey man, all <laughs> war. That clearly that clearly means they did not intend on making another movie or game because the next game clearly says he did not make it past the fucking 13th century. That's so true, actually. So that is bullshit. <laughs> but shall I point out that wow, that looked like exactly like Kratos. But shall I point out that? Um, even though you lost the Blades of Chaos given to you by Ares, you were then given the Blades of Athena, which are essentially identical, uh -huh. but given to you by Athena. Does that mean every god has a pair of chained blades that they can attach to your wrists? Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, it's like gameplay and shit, you know? Oh, I thought it was like... I, I couldn't... I thought it... I thought it was like a YouTube video or something. Yo, Steve... 
Steve, let me level with you, everybody. Scat is not what you think it means. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking he probably works with a lot of, like... Have you ever heard of scatter? It's like a type of brainstorming. <laughs> Beep, ba, ba, da, boop. <laughs> I'm Mr. Scat. Well, thank you for uh, being with us. Yeah, um, thank you for building a great game with a terrible ending. Thank you uh, for watching the longest Bros Play episode to date, to date including one-offs. This is longer than a one-off. An hour and a half, dude. We could have made like six, seven episodes out of that shit. But e you'd be watching each twenty-minute episode, never getting any progress. That's that's like a big. And there wouldn't even necessarily be a way to tell that it was whatever the third or fourth episode because we would yeah. begin and end in the same place. So you wouldn't even wouldn't even be obvious that you were progressing. They like to thank the spouses, significant others. Not a single one of them said, "Hey, do you want to end the game right?" <laughs> yeah, I want to see where the playtesters are, because I want to shame them. <laughs> Did we already go past them? Fault. It's not their fault. It's whoever makes decisions at the end. That's the people it's that true. do it, right? It's true, but the playtesters should have noticed that. Mo caption. They might have noticed it and just been ignored. Good for you. Yeah, they had mocap back in 03. Oh, that's so Yeah, there's computer. Steve Scat Catterson. <coughs> <coughs> Wow, that's a lot of voice actors. Wow, they had different people for the, the certain soldiers and stuff. Yeah, that's actually a pretty long list. A lot of people doing a lot of voices, though. In-game cinematics post-FX. Oh, okay. So the people who gave it, like, a... A look. <laughs> Legal and business affairs group. Everyone's favorite section. You don't Good fight. job, Sue. Uh, you too, Christine. Paralegals are the best backbone oh, yeah. of the... Oh, I suddenly see what we're looking at in the background with all these God of War things. Oh, shit. It's gonna be Kratos' face or something. Uh, or it's the God of War symbol. No, I think it's I think it's Kratos. I feel like I see Voldemort's face on the right-hand side. Yeah. There. I kind of see... It kind of looks like um, Vigil. From Siege. Wouldn't know him, but it does kind of... It's starting to look more and more like a person. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm starting to see it now. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I, I had no idea. And that's why it started off all weird, because we were only seeing one edge of it. One tiny little component. You can tell that there's duplicates, because there's a bunch of areas that will oh, change yeah. at the same time. Well, it's that's like surprisingly easy to do, actually. Yeah, I believe that. You just color the boxes. Like, you just change the hue of each of the videos. Uh, no, you create an overlay. It's that simple. You create, an like, like a, a, a low opacity overlay. Oh, okay, and then that, okay. Yeah, it just allows light through certain parts. Yeah, okay, that makes it way easier. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Next time, God Mode. Yeah, we're doing this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't even imagine fighting Kratos or Ares on god mode. Yeah. Nice. So let's not scar there, buddy. Are there trophies. There's treasures. Oh, the making of. Next time making of. <laughs> Deleted levels. That's cool. <clears throat> wow. God mode character graveyard. It's like characters that didn't make it in the game. Yeah, wow, that's cool. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Either All way, right. thank you for joining us. At some point, we will do God of War 2. And oh, sure. hopefully we'll have less issues with uh, yeah, yeah, conclusion. Yeah. Bye!